Welcome to Communication Engineering Playlist. Here in this session, I'll be explaining radio detector for FM demodulation in phase discrimination method. Now you can see my previous video where I have explained Foster Sealy FM demodulation technique and in that there was a problem of amplitude noise because of noise graminarity and that is what we can improve up to some extent in radio detector. So there are few changes that we have done with respect to Foster Sealy demodulation technique. So these changes are you can see this diode now that is in opposite polarity. So this is one change and second is now we are connecting this circuit. So this circuit that is not there in Foster Sealy demodulation technique. So these two changes that is what we have bring in the radio detector. So that will improve some that will improve that performance related amplitude noise uh, with respect to Foster Sealy. Now here as I have told in Foster Sealy because of noise graminarity there was there, there was noise amplitude that was introduced and to remove that we need to have bandpass limiter but now in this phase detector we don't need bandpass limiter the reason is we have already this circuit which will be limiting that amplitude noise now working that is almost similar so here i'll be explaining you like see what will be our output output now see when we talk about output by using radio detector then output of radio detector that will be half of output of Foster Sealy. So output of radio detector that will be half of output of Foster Sealy. So let us try to understand how it gives half of output with respect to Foster Sealy. So for that first of all we need to understand what is the voltage across VR see over here so this voltage vr one can clearly see that is what v01 plus v02 so vr voltage that is v01 plus v02 now if you see the voltage output that is there in between these two terminal so output voltage that will be a difference in between this two terminal voltage now see at this terminal voltage is v02 and at this terminal voltage is vr by 2 that is what half of this vr so output voltage that is v02 minus vr by 2 let us say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 now if we place this equation 1 in equation 2 then we will be having output voltage that is V02 minus Vr is V01 plus V02 by 2. So if you take LCM, if you take LCM then that will be 2V02 minus V02 so that will result into V02 minus V01 by 2 so if you see my previous session where I have explained Foster Silly where output was V02 minus V01 but over here it is V02 minus V01 by 2 so that is what V0 by 2 compared to Foster Silly. so that is how output is half compared to Foster Sealy. So this is what one disadvantage which is there with radio detector with respect to Foster Sealy. Now let us move on to advantages and disadvantages. So when we talk about advantages then it offers good performance and reasonable linearity. Second is it provides you better immunity against amplitude noise because of this circuit which we are connecting so that is what acting like bandpass limiter so that gives you 
better noise immunity it has wider bandwidth and it is easy, easy to construct by using discrete component like l and c now there are few drawbacks as we have transformer and discrete component this circuit is costly output efficiency is half of the foster silly that we have already derived it has higher distortion it has lower distortion with respect to foster silly but still there is a distortion of phase which we cannot remove and it is not suitable to implement with ic technology so these are the disadvantages which is there with radio detector thank you so much for watching this video you can give me your valuable suggestions your suggestions are welcome to me and based on your suggestions in next subjects i'll be placing videos as well as in this subject i'll be placing all those things which is required to complete analog communication thank you so much for watching this video